Man United fans were in despair after they were drawn against their bogey team Sevilla in the Europa League quarter-final. The draw for the last eight occurred on Friday afternoon following United's 5-1 aggregate win over Real Betis on Thursday. They won the first tie 4-1, then Marcus Rashford put the final nail in the La Liga side's coffin last night as United edged a 1-0 victory. Eric Ten Hag's side avoided Serie A giants Juventus and Roma, plus Arsenal's last 16 conquerors sporting Lisbon, and were drawn against Spanish outfit Sevilla. But the turnout of the draw did little to appease United's fans who have vivid memories of their side's previous misgivings when facing Jorge Sampaoli's troops. Sevilla sent United crashing out of the Champions League in the last 16 stage with a 2-1 victory at Old Trafford in 2018. Then, they inflicted more pain on the Red Devils in the 2020 Europa League semi-final, United, led by former boss Jose Mourinho at the time, were humiliated by Sevilla at Old Trafford when they met in the Champions League. A tactically superior Sevilla had United on the ropes throughout the match, and super sub we Sam Ben Yedder's brace four minutes before time was justly deserved, with Romelu Lukaku's consolation goal shortly after providing little comfort to the club's fans. The Red Devils were outmaneuvered on home soil to the horror of their supporters who could be heard shouting attack, 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 as the likes of Marcus Rashford, Alexis Sanchez, and Jesse Lingard failed to make an impact on proceedings. And it was more or less the same for United two years later when they collided with Sevilla, this time under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in the Europa League. On this occasion, United were off to a great start when Bruno Fernandes fired home penalty to give them the lead, but dodgy defending and poor finishing saw their dreams of European glory come crashing down once again. For Sevilla's first goal, Harry Maguire and Brandon Williams dozed off to provide ex-Liverpool ace Suso the space to tap in the Spanish side's equaliser. and Victor Lindelof and Aaron Juan Bissaka were at fault for Sevilla's second goal, another tap-in, but this time from Luke de Jong. United's plight wasn't helped by the fact that they had 20 shots in the match but were only able to hit the net once. And both losses still haunt the Red Devils faithful who flocked to Twitter to vent about the draw's outcome. One fan groaned. I really did not want Sevilla again but here we are. Sevilla are a bogey team for UTD. Let's hope they can overcome that. Then another fan said. Kind of expected Sevilla though. Damned bogey team. A third supporter added. I would love revenge on Sevilla but I'm sick of how much to a bogey team they are. Before a fourth fan insisted, we ain't beating Sevilla, Spanish bogey team. It was a recurring sentiment shared on social media as fans reeled off a slew of reasons why United will come unstuck against Sevilla. However, United fans can take comfort from the fact that Sevilla have lost four of their last five matches, including a 6-1 drubbing by Atletico Madrid. If the Red Devils get past Sevilla, they'll face the winners out of Juventus clash with Sporting Lisbon, who knocked out Arsenal in the previous round. The Gunners seem to be en route into the quarter-final, until Pedro Goncalves' strike from the halfway line turned the tie on its head, leading to Sporting's win in the penalty shootout.